Didn't see you guys there. Welcome to the channel anyway. Today we're going to be doing some wet rubbing on this tailgate. We're going to get it ready for paint. But before that, we're going to put on some dry guide coat and we're going to tape out our body lines. What we have here, if we've got some dry guide coat, got our masking tape. What I like to do first is carefully place your tape over there and get your dry guide coat. I like to give these a bit of a shake up. And then sort of just like to sprinkle those around because I mean, these are good, but I find for, um, for a larger panel like this, especially a flat one, you're better off just sprinkling a little bit on. Rub him on and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is for that one. What we're gonna do, obviously get rid of all our dust that's sort of left over. Make sure we haven't missed any spots. Find our tape. I just like to start on one end and then what I'll do Get him on there. Take for a walk. I can pretty well see where the body line is. Something like that. Check that straight which it certainly looks like it is. And then I'll watch like it just sort of just check by hand just a little bit, because you can feel the body line that's there. So I like to do that. And uh, yeah, that all feels pretty good. So the block that I'll be using, I'll be using this Jura block, just because we're not doing any uh, blocking up repairs or anything like that. It's just getting the panel 800 wet rubbed. Um, so yeah, you don't really have to worry about going with anything too coarse or um, really straightening the panel. The panel's already been straightened. Just a little tip, I like to stay away from the body lines. I find if you stay away from them, do them last, you end up with a little bit more of a build up because obviously if you start on your body lines and then you rub the rest of the panel, you'll, uh, you'll wear through on the body lines, I find, because you've taken away so much material off them. So I like to give the rest of the panel a good rub and then do the body lines. So there's still a little bit here where I haven't quite rubbed near the tape. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to cut in that body line and then I will reverse the tape. So I'll put another bit of tape just up from that one. So it's then on this part of the, uh, of the body line. And then that way when I block this side of it, it will then make a, uh, a nice point. And just like that, we've repeated the process. So now we've got the tape on the other side of the body line. We can now block this area right here on the bottom of the tailgate.
So I've just quickly drawn the paddle off. As you can see, looks pretty good. You would have seen me do this trick 50 million times before. It's just some prep style, we'll wet him down. Notice there's some guide cut just lurking in there, so I might just give that a little bit more of a rub afterwards, but really just wanting to look at that body line at the moment. Which I mean, if you look at that, that is, that's really nice in my opinion. There's, yeah, I can't see anything wrong with that. That's how I like them. Not too sharp. Still has a little bit of a roundness to it, but it's straight and it's consistent. A little bit of a tip for you guys, when you're putting down a hole on a base coat, sort of before that last coat, I just like to give the panel just a little bit of a scuff, just to sort of knock down any little um, nibs that I've got. And I find when you're putting on, because this has got four coats of base coat on it now, when you sort of, when you sort of get around to like the, the two or three sort of coats, you end up with a little bit of orange peel. And I find before you put that last coat on, you can um, you can flatten them out just a little bit. So when that last coat goes on, it's going on to a, uh, a pretty well flat sort of surface again. Much like how your first coat will go down. So this is all I do. Just got a little bit of 800. Small amount of water on the panel. Just flattening off. Anything sort of that's just sitting on the surface. I mean, I could go ahead and I could clear this and it would probably look fine, but it's just something that I've done for some time.
last coat of clear just went on. I've ended up just unmasking the sides because I find I wasn't really too worried about this edge or this edge, but uh, with the sides, I find if you don't, you might end up with a little bit of a build up just of the clear running over. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's come up pretty nice, I reckon. It's um, very happy with it. It's a little bit of a build up just around the, uh, the tonneau cover holes, but kind of can't really avoid that. And there's a big bit of crap somewhere around there. But yeah, the uh, clear went on really nice, I reckon. Laid down pretty flat. Not a whole lot of stuff in it, apart from the one that I just said, but. Yeah, I don't think I'll get it much better than that. Not in a little old tin shed like this, but. Anyway, that's, um, that one's done for now, so very good. Thanks for watching me paint the tailgate, guys. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I have and you found it a little bit uh, informative uh, with all the prep work and stuff like that that we did with this one. And um, yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and yeah, see you around next time. Cheers.